Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to use Telegram. So it's a messaging app similar to the ones you might be used to like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, but this is one of the latest greatest ones. I checked the number of visitors they're getting and they're getting over a hundred million estimated visits per month as of October of 2018 and they're growing every month. So I wanted to show you how to set it up and start using it if you're not familiar with it. Now it's available for many different applications and platforms. So it's available for Android, iPhone, Windows phone, and on your desktop and a web version as well. But in order to use it, you have to set it up right now on Android, iPhone or Windows phone. You basically have to set it up on your phone because it does use a phone number to get set up. So if you go through the web version browser, for example, to set it up, it's gonna tell you to set it up on your phone first. You could go under FAQ here, and if you have more questions about what Telegram is all about, you could check that out. But the website is telegram.org, and it's basically gonna tell you that it's a messaging app that focuses on speed and security, and it even compares itself with WhatsApp and other messaging apps that you may be used to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it for my phone. So I'm gonna plug the phone in, walk you through that whole process first. So I'm on my iPhone here. The process on Android is pretty much the same. So you'll just have to get Telegram. In this case, I'm gonna get it from the App Store. Just go ahead and search for Telegram. And I'm gonna press Get. Let me go ahead and open the app now. And you could go through some of these pages just to learn a little bit about what the app is. And I'm gonna say start messaging. And then it's gonna ask for my phone number and country. So I'm gonna type in my number here. After I type in a code, it's gonna ask for my photo and my name. So I'm just gonna type in my name here. I'm gonna skip the photo section for now. I'm gonna press next. It's gonna ask me to send me notifications. And this is what the platform looks like. So if you used WhatsApp, a lot of other messaging app, they're pretty much all the same kind of platform. So on the bottom, you have your contacts, calls, chat, and settings, and on top, you could draft a message. Once you get conversations going, they're all kind of showing up here. So under settings, let me show you a couple of things here. You could change your notifications, for example. So you could change the settings on that. You could say your profile picture here. You could check your recent calls and so on. And you could go to privacy and security and you could change some of these options here. Right now I'm gonna leave everything on default. I haven't blocked anyone. I'm okay with everyone seeing my last scene, my voice calls. I'm gonna leave everything as is. Here you could jump into contacts on the bottom of the page and you could press invite friends and you could check from your contacts. If you gave it access to your contacts, you could see who's on Telegram and you could go ahead and invite them. Even though Telegram is getting millions of visits a month, it still doesn't have a lot of my friends, for example, active on it. So you'll have to probably invite people that are not yet on Telegram and it's gonna ask them to be invited to the platform. If you go under calls, for example, you could see all and recent calls and you could press the call button on top. And then again, it's gonna pull up your contact to make calls with them and you could see who's online and who's not. And on the bottom, you have chat as well. Again, on top, press chat. You could do new group, new secret chat, or you could start a channel. This lets you create a channel to talk to a broader audience so it's not on a one-on-one. -on -one. This is almost like creating a channel on YouTube to get people to follow you here. So those are a couple of different things you could do with chat and with calls right here. I'm gonna jump back to my contacts. I'm gonna start messaging with someone that's already on my contact list. And here it's gonna show me the people on my contacts list that are already on Telegram. So if I click one of them and start a chat, this is what a messaging chat looks like between two people. So here, if I just type in a message and if I press send, that's how you just communicate with someone on Telegram. So this is exactly how you start a conversation with someone. And if you click their name, you could see more about them and you could see if they're online and so on, and you could change some of the information here if you edit this page. But this is simply how you chat one-on-one -on -one with someone. If you wanna attach a file, you could basically attach that by giving it access to your library between photo and video. And as usual, under the messages, if you click that tab here, it's gonna let you use some of these GIFs and some of these other options here. If you scroll down, you could text some of these. There are stickers and so on. So you could look through these and see what you like. And he also has access to your microphone right here. And now since I started a chat by default, every time you come here, you're gonna see all the different chat that you've started right here. And you could search for messaging users. It basically gives you the search option to search through these chats. And if at any point you wanted to archive or delete a chat, all you gotta do is slide here on iPhone. You could pin, mute, or delete. In this case, I'm gonna just press delete. 
and I'm going to delete and clear my history. And you could basically clear all your chats this way every single time. And that's basically the gist of how you use Telegram right on your phone. I hope you found this useful and you could take advantage of Telegram before it really gets bigger. I think it's a really cool messaging platform and it's completely free right now. Thanks so much for watching this video. I post videos just like this one every single day of the week and I really hope to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.